San Francisco 49ers defensive end Nick Bosa slobber-knocked and fawned over the presence of his emperor, his muse, his flame, Donald John Trump. The two laid eyes on each other at UFC 299, where Sean O'Malley headlined and avenged his lone defeat. Dustin Poirier served as the co-main. But it wasn't just Bosa fangirling out for Trump. Dave Portnoy of Barstool Sports gets up and says hello, as does son-in-law Jared Kushner who received over $2 billion from the Saudis when he left the White House. Daughter Ivanka Trump, who also added to her wealth, and the former president ignoring their child. Ex-ESPN host Sage Steele, who is now without kick, also embraced Trump. Idiotic podcaster Patrick Bet David, who slimily stands in order the way Trump wants his supporters to stand and waits for his dictator's embrace. A co-host of his, also there, grifter Candace Owens, who says racism does not exist but once accused students of racially abusing her. Fox News host, ex-NRA TV host, parlor investor Dan Bongino, amongst others. Jim Jordan would flank Trump as well. It would be so hilarious if it wasn't so hypocritical. The same folks who clamored to the narrative that politics are ruining sports and that there should be no injection of one into the other is being hosted cage side at a UFC pay-per-view event where they serve more as political rallies than fights these days. Some fans were peeved to see Cincinnati Bengals star quarterback Joe Burrow sharing some laughs with the former president. To others, at this point, nothing can shock them. The trio would even snap a photo with Bosa doing the Trumpian thumbs-up gesture. Surprised it wasn't an okay symbol, Will Compton and Taylor Luan of Bussin' with the Boys also posed. The two have a podcast on Portnoy's Barstool Sports. Hilariously, when Compton started seeing the backlash, he'd write in a thread, Y'all got me all wrong, and shared four photos implying he is not a racist for posing with a racist. As many alluded to, I'm not racist. I have black friends in the form of a tweet is what took place. Incredible stupidity, top tier even. This is a great example of quitting while ahead. This is Nick Bosa here with Donald Trump. On the Nick Bosa front. The fact that she has to make everything a, such a big political statement. So you are not in Bay Nation, but you are a fan <laughs> of Donald Trump, yes, right? Yes, big fan. He brings a charisma to the table that no other candidates I've seen in my lifetime. So. The former, he'd say, a Beyonce, the latter of Trump. And it was a second draft choice. And he gets out, Bosa. And he gets out real, he's going to be a great player from Ohio State. And he's a MAGA fan. He loves Trump. He loves MAGA. Trump, of course, would return the favor. You're an anti-American crybaby kneeler on the field. You can be proud of your message. But if you support the president and conservative values off the field, you have to cleanse your Twitter so you don't offend anyone. That's a load of BS, and you know I have some first thoughts. Yep, one of the top NFL prospects, Nick Boza, recently deleted his pro-Trump and mega tweets for fear he may end up playing for the 49ers in San Francisco. Yeah, forget the needles and the feces littering the city. The most offensive thing in San Francisco would be a pro Trump patriot. Give me a break. When ESPN asked the Ohio State defensive end why his tweets have become so bland and not political, something he used to openly discuss, he said, I had to. There is a chance I might end up in San Francisco. Yes, he liked some of my tweets, called our president a goat, greatest of all time, showed disgust in players kneeling, and referred to crybaby Kaepernick as what he is, a clown. The potential number one overall NFL draft pick might be, dare I say, a conservative, a patriot, someone who loves his country and respects his president. Oh, the horror. Right-wing media would adore him. In case one has forgotten, Bosa would retweet his father John's tweets many times over, who would once misspell warfare when describing former President Barack Obama's time in office. In addition, he would approve of the Trumpian mantra, build the wall. Not surprising in the slightest. John Bosa would also like a tweet reading, If you think you're having a rough day, imagine being one of the purple-haired, woke, genderless they-thems at Twitter and finding out that Elon Musk is going to be the CEO for a few months. The apple clearly doesn't fall far from the tree. Then there's his former significant other, Jenna Berman. She was found to be using the N-word on her socials. She was a frequent user of the word over and over and over again. Then, more. 
In addition, she also used gay slurs all over her tweets. To the surprise of no one, Berman ran with the typical right-wing talking point about the 2020 summer protests that you hear on OAN and Fox News. Her sister also used the N-word, by the way. They own a cookie business together. I'm continually amazed. I'm continually amazed over and over again at how many people go to these events, these UFC events, which have now completely turned into political rallies for Donald Trump. Why? Because it benefits the UFC president, Dana White. It benefits their business. They are promoting people like this. They made a documentary and put it on their own website and YouTube page. It's very clear what they have tried to do. So miss me with the we need politics out of sports nonsense because that's exactly what it is. We called it out when Live Golf did it. We called it out when we knew what Live Golf was all about. And now we're seeing it in real time with the UFC. And yet somehow, some way, they think that they are immune from the criticism. Dana White. Dana White, who was seen on video striking his wife not once but twice at Squid Row, which, by the way, you're like 40 years too late, in Cabo San Lucas, struck his wife twice. No one mentions it anymore. Pretty odd to me. These are the same people when it comes to live golf. I'm not saying everybody, but some. When it comes to live golf and UFC events where they will chant, F Joe Biden, but the same persons will say uh, F your feelings when you say one negative thing about their leader, about their dear leader. It's stunning. It's stunning. It's hypocritical. It's asinine. And Kareem Zidane, who's a journalist that has gone over this many times over, has outlined why the UFC has made this hard right-wing pivot and chosen to promote certain figures, whether it is cage side or in the cage competing. They have teamed up with the Trump administration. It's very clear that Dana White has funneled their roster of fighters to the Trump administration, whether it's for shoots, whether it's for promos, whether it's for the campaign, doesn't matter. Dana White is serving as a pawn gladly because he benefits from all of this. On the Nick Bosa front, seeing him gleefully smack Trump on the back, whisper sweet nothings in his ear, not surprising in the slightest. We have known who this man is. We have known the people he has surrounded himself with. And we have also gone over, check it out on demand, stuff about his dad. So none of this is surprising to us. None of it. The more surprising one was Joe Burrow. Because... We learned a few things prior to and then after his LSU National Champion Tigers went to the White House when they were invited and visited Donald Trump. I go back and forth between, was it just a spur of the moment picture? Or is it something, and he didn't want to say no, or is it because he's with his friend? Or is it something that he processed and said that he was totally, completely okay with. Not sure. Really not sure. But it says something. That they continue to say, we don't want politics and sports. And then you see this and hear this. And that entire front row in Miami. I mean, my goodness, it's practically a turning point event. But that's Dana White's UFC. If there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter. Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open. And please, 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 if you can, we're doing a membership drive. Support the network. All of our content is free. Go to tyt.com slash join.